And now at 5.30, a teenager is under arrest tonight, accused of hitting two women, then taking off from the scene. And investigators say the van that the teenager was driving was actually stolen. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. Liam and Paula are off tonight. A witness to that crash is a former EMT who rushed in to help. And WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live near the accident scene this evening on Washington Street in Brighton. Tiffany? David and Lisa, that witness, said she was just watching TV when she heard a loud bang outside of her Brighton apartment. Her EMT instincts kicked in when she realized that two women were hit by a van at this intersection. It was really scary. Um, there were two people in the road. Scary was the word used to describe what happened at this Brighton intersection. Boston police arrested a 17-year-old boy from Stowe after he allegedly hit two women with a stolen van and kept driving. We heard immediately. It, it sounded like a car-on-car -car collision. It was really, really loud. There was some bloody towels on the ground. Uh, you know, it definitely seemed like people got hurt. The women were run down near the intersection of Washington and Lake. Lake Street Sunday night. The front of the commercial van that was stolen from a Cambridge bike shop is smashed in. A neighbor who worked as an EMT heard the impact from her apartment and rushed outside to help. Not good. Um, yeah, they were both really seriously hurt. Um, yeah, they, they weren't in they weren't in good shape. Onlookers described the victims as two Asian women in their 20s. They were taken to area trauma centers with non-life-threatening injuries. They, they weren't speaking, but they, um, they were getting better the longer I was there. They were moving the, all four of their limbs. The women are expected to survive. As for that teenage boy, he's facing a long list of charges, including leaving the scene of an accident, driving without a license, and several other motor vehicle offenses. Live in Brighton tonight, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Tiffany.